Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. So, we are going to sell medals in this video. Um, as the title says, it is going to be, it's a hopefully a quick short guide on how to sell medals to be able to get avatar coins. Now, uh, one of the best times to do this is during an event medal. Um, sorry during a metal event where you can farm metals. Uh, right now we're wrapping up the SRM, uh, the Sora, Riku, and Miao uh, event. Um, and yesterday I just had some time, was hanging out on the stream, and I just collected a bunch of these. So something very important to know about these metals. Um, let's go to sell metals and I'll show you guys. So we're gonna sort them by attribute first, uh, sorry, by special attack. Uh, this actually puts them in the in the same order as we've had them. So if you look at these metals here, so check this out. If I go to sell this one, which I'm not going to sell it. If I go to sell this Alice, okay, um, this Alice has four orbs lit, not five. Because they're not all lit, check it out, no avatar coins. But if I were to select, if I were to select one, let's see if we have one that has five. Well, the Mickey. If we select the Mickey... And this Mickey has all five lit, I get five avatar coins. So if you're going to do this, make sure that you completely fill in all the available orbs. So like this Riku, see, he's got two available orbs. Both of them are lit. He is worth two medals. This one is three, three. Uh, and right now I'm just going to be doing the Riku, Soras, and um, Meow Wows. Uh, that I got. So now again, these are two. These are worth three. Boop, 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 boop. We're up to 22 avatar coins. And now let's check out the meows, how much they give us. Um, boop, boop, boop. We can do this whole line here. And we can do all these here. Okay. So these, um, th I'm selling them for 54 coins. Uh, you think 54 avatar coins is not that much? Um... But to be perfectly honest, it's it's fine, you know. Um, it's it's something you can do, especially if you're doing if you're in an event where you have zero AP, or you're in an event where you can just it's very low cost and it's farmable metals. Go for it. Uh, it's something fun to do. It's something you can do. Like I said, just make sure that you have all orbs lit. It used to be that it didn't matter how many orbs you had lit, it would sell them. Um, but now you just have to be careful. And you just have to make sure that any available orb spots are completely lit. Um, so like here, see this one? It should give me two, right? It doesn't give me anything. This one could give me three. It doesn't give me anything. You have to have all available orbs. So all available slots have to be full for it to qualify for the avatars, for the avatars, um, for the avatar coins. And if we sell these, just got myself 54 avatar coins and got me a bunch of space, uh, bunch of new space so hope that helps i hope that clears up some um miscommunications or something that you know you uh, you might be wondering well i've heard people get avatar coins from selling uh, metals um you can do that with farmable quest metals as well it takes a little longer it's usually better to do it during an event where you have the capacity of getting guaranteed metals over and over again for example like this uh this current meow one here it's gone in 12 minutes uh, but this one since we get so many meow wows, it makes it a lot easier just to, you know, farm, 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 put them together and sell them really fast. So thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2 and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.